Today we are building the iconic Inquisitor Katea's miniature. Katea's story is one of dark origins and unyielding resolve. As a child, he witnessed his family sacrificed by heretics, igniting a lifelong crusade against chaos. He rose through the ranks of the Inquisition, famously smashing a demon-bound crystal and condemning his own mentor for heresy. Katea's ruthless pursuit of justice has made him both feared and respected. Now, in his later years, he searches for ways to extend his life, determined to continue his fight against the enemies of the Imperium. Let's bring this legendary figure to life. The first iteration of this miniature was released in Metal in 2003, and that was Katea's with his retinue. The second iteration was in fine cast in 2011. Katea's lost his retinue and it was just one mini. And now we are at the third iteration of 2024 with a plastic miniature. So this is the first plastic Katea's there is. Katea's, as you can see, is wielding the demon hammer. He has a bolt pistol and a cyber eagle. Half eagle, half servitor, I guess. And the eagle is supposed to enhance his psychic abilities. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. In the box we find instructions, a really nice sprue with a lot of details, and two bases. Let's take a look at the sprue first. Really nice looking sprue, very beautiful. A lot of details. Huge eagle over here. This is gonna be fun, guys. Let's build the guy. We start with the torso, as always. Beats 1 and 2. This is beat number 1. And this is bit number two. Bits one and two are cleaned up. Let's see if we can combine them together. They should be sitting like this. Luckily for us, he wears a power armor, artificer power armor. That makes him easier to assemble because the bits are larger. Let's put some glue. There we go. This is our torso. Moving forward, we need the upper part of the torso, number three, and both legs four and five. We start with the upper torso three. This is the bit number three. I have prepared bit three. Let's see how it should be attached to the rest of the torso, like this. Let's glue it. We have a torso. Let's proceed with legs four and five. This is leg 4, and this is leg 5. Both legs are cleaned up. They're very similar, so make sure you don't mix them up. But I guess you can't really do that because of uh, how it should be sitting here. So you see, left leg is fitting perfectly here, but it does not really fit over here. So you know that it should be over here. I'm gonna glue it. This is our left leg. And now the right one should be sitting over here. Try fitting it first. Yep. There we go. This is our torso with the legs. Further on, we're supposed to assemble the cape and put it on the mini. And uh, be advised, this cape should be assembled separately if you want to paint it perfectly. Requires partial assembly here. This is the cape 6, and this is the bit of the cape number 7. Both parts of the cape are cleaned up. Let's combine them together. Should be sitting like this. Very nice. I'm gonna glue it. Looking good. And let's see how the cape should be fixed here. Should be fixed like this, hanging on his left shoulder, pretty much. And again, if you want to paint him perfectly, you better paint the cape separately, because otherwise it might be challenging to get to the back of it. A nice tidbit, there is an hourglass, and I'm pretty sure this is the same hourglass KTS was using to accuse his former master of heresy. So the story goes like... Uh, the former master took into possession some demon-infused crystal, and uh, on the inquisitorial conclave, Katas accused him of heresy, and he said that it will take him less time that is left in the sand in the hourglass to confirm his suspicions, and guess what, he was right. Okay, I don't care about partial assembly that much, so I'm just gonna glue the cape directly. And this is our 
torso with the cape. We move forward, we need to attach the front part of the fur of the cape and the hat 9. Let's start with beat 8. This is beat number 8. This is our beat number 8. Should be sitting in front of him somehow. So it should be sitting like this. Let's glue it. Here we go. You know what this whole setup reminds me? It reminds me of the new Chaos Lord that we have built last time. Because in this case, he also had fur on the back and fur on the front. And look how Kateas looks like. It is very similar. I wonder if they are connected in some way. But before we get accused of heresy, let's move on to the head number 9. This is our head number 9. Very beautifully sculpted head. It should be sitting somewhere here. There is no way to mess this up because the position is fixed with the lock. I'm gonna put some glue inside. And this is our Inquisitor with the head. We move forward to the hand 10 and 11. But before that, let's put the pistol, the bolt pistol 14 in a holster. This is holster with the bolt pistol 14. This is our holster with the bolt pistol. And guess what? This is an open holster. So technically, this should be drilled. Let's try to drill it. Okay, drill the bits. Not perfect, but at least it looks like a bolter now. Bolt pistol. Let's see where it should be sitting. There is a rectangular lock over here. And it should be sitting like this. I'm gonna glue it. This is our bolt pistol with inquisitorial symbol over here. Now to right hand made from 10 and 11. This is bit 10 and this is bit 11. Both parts of the right hand are cleaned up. Let's see how they should be combined together. I can see a lock over here and it should be combined like this. I will be putting glue around this lock and let's attach a hand. This is our right Sorry, left arm. And let's see how it should be sitting here. It should be somewhat like this. Again, this arm might be covering some vital parts of the mini. So you might want to assemble it separately. I myself, as I said, don't care that much. So I'm just gonna glue it. The arm should go here. Here we go. This is our right arm. We proceed with the bit 12, which is a shoulder pad with the with a bit of the fur. This is bit number 12. The bit 12 is cleaned up. Let's see, it should be sitting over here. Very, very nice. And I am going to put some glue on the shoulder. And very carefully over here, because this is gonna be covered too. Let's see. This is how it looks. So it's a lot of fur, as you can see. And we need to put the Inquisition icon 13, I guess, over here at this look. This is the Inquisition icon 13. So the skull hints on the positioning. Let's put it in place. Dry fit it first. This is how it should look like. And now let's glue it. I'm gonna put some glue over here, just a little bit. That should be enough. And then I'm gonna try to drop this bit in place. And this is how it looks. We proceed to the hammer and the tactical rock 16. The hammer, the demon hammer, is bit 15. This is our demon hammer. The demon hammer is cleaned up. It should be built somewhat like this, but we probably want to do the tactical rock first, clean the tactical rock first. This is the tactical rock 16. This is our tactical rock. It is cleaned up. Let's see how the guy should be standing on it. So it should be somewhat like this. And the hammer should be somewhat like this. In this case, 
I feel like um, I want to glue the hammer first because this lock over here fixes it in the position, in the correct position. And after that, I will put the Kataz himself and attach it in three places. I'm gonna put some glue here. So this is our hammer. Let's see again how it should be built here, like this. I definitely need to put glue here and here, but I'm not entirely sure about this area. So let's do it this way. I'm gonna put glue here. I'm gonna put glue here. And then I'm gonna put glue on this leg in order to make it stand where it should be standing. And now let me try to assemble him. Perfect. The hand is in place. Both legs are glued. And this is our Kataz. Now we need to drop him on the base. This is a 40 millimeter base. Let's check if it looks fine. It does. And uh, let's glue the Kataz guy to the base. Okay, I'm gonna try to drop him. I think this is our positioning because his head is roughly in the middle of the base. And this is how it looks from the sides. Very, very cool. And uh, this is our Inquisitor Kataz, guys. But we are not done yet because we still have an eagle to build. Glavadon Cyber Eagle. So this eagle is enhancing his psychic capabilities. We start with the eagle body 17 and 18. This is bit 17 and this is bit 18. All right, I have cleaned up both bits of the eagle. Let's see how they should be fitting together. There is a lock over here, as you can see, two tiny dots. And uh, there are two tiny bumps on the other part of the eagle. It should be sitting like this. Quite frankly, it looks very flimsy. But uh, let's um, try to make it happen. So I'm gonna put some glue here. I'm gonna try to put the eagle together like this. So this is our our eagle body with two heads. It is a vet grown eagle. And now we need the rest of the eagle number 19. You know what it reminds me? It reminds me these instructions on the internet, how to draw an owl. Step one, draw two circles. Step two, draw the rest of the owl. And uh, this, is our, this is our case exactly. This is the second step, the eagle part number 19. This is our beats 19. Uh, feeling like uh, I'm building some Warhammer Age of Sigmar minis or something. Yeah, this is how the eagle should be attached. And let's glue it. Here we go. This is our Glovodon Cyber Eagle. And it has a stand, number 20. This is number 20. Very beautiful piece of Imperial rubble. This is our Imperial rubble. And the eagle should be... This is the correct positioning over here. You can see there is a lock over here which is incredibly flimsy. I am not entirely sure if this is going to be enough. But um, actually, now when I look at this, I, I'm fairly confident this thing is supporting the eagle wing too. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to put it together. Okay, don't make my mistake. Don't put too much glue on this bit because it's so flimsy. It should not be a lot of glue. Anyways, our eagle is airborne. And now we need to drop it on the base. Let's check our base. Looks fine. I'm gonna glue the base. And they say it should be somewhere on the back. And I think this is our positioning of the eagle, guys. This is how the eagle should be looking like. Let's double check if we missed anything. So we have assembled torso, we have assembled all these bits, the cape, that should be partial assembly. A head, front part of the cape, shoulder pads with more cape, uh, inquisitorial icon, right hand, bolter pistol, demon hammer, 
the base and the eagle. And these are the things that we ended up with. The Inquisitor Katsas himself and the Cyber Eagle. Very, very, very nice. This is a really cool mini. He wears a power armor. That is why he is as bulky as a Space Marine. In fact, if we compare Katas with a Space Marine, we will see that the Space Marine is even smaller, like uh, this Inferno Sergeant from Combat Patrol number 5, the unique Inferno Sergeant. You can see he is shorter. And the Space Marine is actually genetically enhanced to be huge. So the Katas is kinda kinda large, very large. He is standing on the tactical rope, that is why he looks even larger. If we compare him to a Terminator, he is as tall as a Terminator. Look at this. Uh, the bases, of course, are of the same size, 40 millimeter bases. And uh, Katez is like, uh, yeah, he, he, is basically, he is basically a Terminator Inquisitor. And, of course, his cape with a lot of fur gives me very interesting vibe of him being <laughs> kind of in the same league of wearing fur as a chaos lord that we have built last time and they are of the similar size they both have tactical rocks both have capes but this guy is all about imperium and this guy is all about chaos so it took me roughly 50 minutes to build Katas. Uh, it was kind of fun. I will give it 5 service cows out of 5 for the fun of it and uh, 4 service cows out of 5 for easy to build part. Partly because of this eagle. This mini requires partial assembly, at least for the cape. And maybe for some other bits too, like this hand for example, but the cape is definitely definitely requiring a partial assembly but other than that this is a really cool mini he is very bulky he is a really cool inquisitor and i think if you need an inquisitor in a power armor this is your guy let me know guys in the comment section below what you think of this mini this third plastic iteration of infamous or famous inquisitor katas and that is gonna be it for today my friends if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It will really help me to move forward. And I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.